I am in Titusville, Florida, and behind me is NASA's Kennedy Space Center. And tucked inside that vehicle assembly building is the future of America's human space exploration, the Artemis I rocket. Two years ago, we introduced you to Orion, NASA's next generation space capsule that would carry humans back to the moon and then beyond. Well, this project has already been in the works for more than a decade, and it is a collaboration of scientists from all across the globe. But Northeast Ohio played a very critical role in the success of this mission by doing testing to make sure Orion could safely carry humans in space. The process is tedious. Research leading to new designs, new technology leading to innovation. Through all of it, safety is paramount, and that means testing, rigorous testing. And there's only one place it could be done. NASA's Glenn Plumbrook Station, now known as the Neil A. Armstrong Test Facility, home to the largest thermal vacuum chamber in the world. After years of planning, Orion flew from Cape Canaveral to Mansfield, Ohio on NASA's Super Guppy aircraft and was trucked to Sandusky, where Plumbrook engineers got to work on putting the new spacecraft through its paces. The capsule withstood temperatures ranging from nearly 250 degrees below zero to more than 300 degrees Fahrenheit, all while in the simulated vacuum of space and being bombarded with electromagnetic interference. Orion, after successful testing, was then packaged up and flown back to Kennedy Space Center, where it now sits atop a rocket waiting for launch. It is such an incredible program, and tomorrow we will get to see the Artemis I rocket all stacked together with Orion, the core stage, the boosters. At 322 feet, it is the tallest and most powerful rocket NASA has ever built. And early in 2022, it will launch Orion into an uncrewed three-week demonstration journey around the moon and back. We will bring you more live reports tomorrow. From the Space Coast, Betsy Kling, 3 News.